Jazzeria Talk Show. I'm here with a good friend of mine. She's the author of four books. You can say five. She co-authored one for her hubby. She's going to tell you what's going on today at Mobile Branch Library. Hi, good evening. Hi. Thank you for coming out. Speak um, up. Maybe. You speak so soft. Uh, oh, okay. Well, well I didn't want to disturb everybody. Okay, uh, we're having our annual Jigsaw Puzzle Competition, and we're here at the Tomaville Branch of the Mobile Public Library. The goal is for grades 6 through 12 to beat their opponent in putting together a 200-piece jigsaw puzzle. And today we're talking about we want it to be uh, fun and educational, so that's what we're doing today. And the the uh, uh, the, the, the prize is is, is, is the kids getting prizes. Okay, uh, the first place is a hundred dollars. Uh, second uh, let place. Me get a puzzle, okay. <laughs> <laughs> second place fifty. Third place thirty. Uh, fourth place twenty, and, and sixth fifth place ten. And they also get a, a gift bag. Everybody gets a gift Everybody bag. Everybody gets a gift, gift bag. bag. Mm -hmm. Man, a hundred dollars for the first place. Girl, you ain't tell me that. I need a puzzle. Somebody get me hooked me up with a puzzle. All right. uh, okay. We're gonna be looking at the kids, and uh, we've got uh, this is a lady of the uh, library. Come and speak a minute, ma'am. Come on over here. We're gonna see if we can get her to say a little something. All right. Tell them your name and what you do. I'm Gloria Williams. I'm oh, stand over there, girl. Get in front of this camera. <laughs> Go ahead. Talk. I'm Gloria Williams, and I'm the manager of the Tomaville branch of the Mobile Public Library. And today we are having a jigsaw puzzle competition. And it is uh, designed to uh, pull our young people, especially our teens from 12 to 18, into our library and to have an event that they are interested in. Uh, last time I seen you, it was uh, Booker T. Washington. She was doing a Booker T. Washington book up here. That's that right. That was a long That's time, right. about a couple of years ago. Yeah. yeah. Nice to see you again. Well, thank you. Uh, if some little girl is watching and want to do what you did, tell her how to go about uh, doing what you do at the library. Uh, you went to college? Tell her. Tell well, her. yes, I did uh, go to college. I went to uh, the University of South Alabama. That's where I got my undergraduate degree in and my master's degree. I went to the University of Alabama. So uh, what a young person need to do, young man or a young woman, the first thing they need to do, of course, is finish high school. And once finished in high school, they can either go to two-year junior college or they can go to a, a four-year university. And then once they have gotten that degree, then they, of course they will need a master's degree in, in a library and information science to be a librarian. All right, now y'all got the formula on how to work at the library. Jazzeria, we love you. We're going to show you some of the kids, and they trying to, they trying to put these puzzles together. My life a puzzle. I don't need to put no puzzle on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell them God bless. Y'all hold that mic. Tell them God bless. God bless. Jazzeria Talk Show, and I'm your host, Jazzeria, and we got an important dignitary here. What's your name now? I didn't know they let the little girls out. Where's your mom, baby? Okay, we're at the library. She's going to tell you her name and what she do. You tell them. Yes, my name is Gert Lafitte, and I am the assistant manager and the youth programmer here at the Tobinville Library. That's what I do every day, all day. I work with the uh, young people and occasionally with the adults as well. But uh, I do the programming here. Okay. Uh, if someone wanted to do, they're looking at this and they want to do what you do. They like a job like you. Tell them how they can prep themselves. Oh, the way you prep yourself, depending on what age you are. If you're in school, study hard. If you're about to get out of school, you need to, first of all, you need to determine what it is that you want to do. You can come by the library as well uh, and volunteer. You can learn some inside, um, inside information about uh, being a librarian uh, and assistant manager as well as youth coordinator. And the other thing is to just study, you know, study hard. And you have to go to college. Got to go to college. You hear that? <laughs> <laughs> it ain't over at high school. Got to go. Thank you very much for letting me interview. Tell them, uh, tell them God bless. What library are you at? Tell them which one we are. We're at, I'm at the Tobinville branch of the Mobile Public Library. God bless you. Jazz Red Talk Show. I wanted you to see some of the kids. These kids are very serious about putting these puzzles together. I'm just going to scan this room. I want you to see them now. We got two young men here. They're just going to stand up. They're not playing. They dead serious about trying to do this puzzle. Wow. I, I, it's good to see teens 
at, that are, are interested in puzzles. Because I just couldn't do them, man. They just, you know, I try to make them fit sometimes. And that was wrong. But uh, all these kids, they are trying so hard. We're going to get on the other side. Yes, a real talk show. These babies are really into this. They are trying to get this puzzle together. It is little money laying on the land, and I don't blame them. Uh, it's spring break, and y'all can use that money to do something. Oh, look at him. These babies are serious. They dead serious about this puzzle thing. Wow. Wow, we're going to get some other kids. All right, here we got some more young men. They are really trying to get this money. They dead serious. You see that puzzle? They're not playing. We got them laid out in twos. They are teams, and they are going to win. Uh-oh, looks like we got the popo up in here, too. Hi, Mr. Popo. <laughs> We've got some kids here. This is team one. They are in here trying to put this puzzle together. They're coming on with it, too. Wow. Wow. All right, here are the gift bags for the babies. We've got the gift bag. I want you all to know that Paulette uh, do this annual pub, uh, puzzle contest. It's, it's yearly. She do it yearly. Last year, I missed it. I got it the other year. I missed it last year, but I'm here now. These nice gift bags so everybody gets something. Here we go. This is uh, team three here. Wow, they busy. They busy. They ain't studying. They trying to get it. They trying to get that money. They trying to get it. They trying to get it. This is uh, team five, and they're getting it together. They're putting their edges together. They, everybody got a strategy, I see. Some of them got strategies here. Wow. This is uh, team seven. We're just trying to help these babies get out there. They are trying to do this puzzle. All right, I'm enjoying this wild puzzle contest. All right, this is uh, Team 9. Team 9 is trying to get their puzzles together here. All right, everybody is really, really trying. You know me and here I see a serious. They did serious about trying to put this puzzle together. We're going to see who's going to win. Jazz of Red, we love you. Peace out. In the back here, because it is a library, they always are going to have books. I love books. I have a library at home. I just love to read. A lot of times I get a chance. I've been trying to buy some on tape, but I love to read. Dolphins, sharks. Oh, wow. Amazing fish. Why do dolphins squeak? Wow, I like all these books here. They have a lot of colorful books that you can come and check out, and you check back in. Be honest about your books. Jezreel, we love you. Peace out. We have judges. We've got people that have timed them. They're being timed. I don't think they're not on the clock. These babies are on the clock, and they are trying so hard. They're trying so hard. There's going to be a winner. We just don't know what table will win. Jezreel, we love you. Peace out. Jazz Red Talk Show, and we quietly keeming in on these good. Look at these little ladies here. It didn't take them long, man. Look at them. Look at them. They got it. And we also got some guys on the other side that got it. Wow. We finna check this out. All right. We got some guys here. This is Tay, Team 3. They look like they rolling, too. They rolling, too. They rolling, too. They to run off with Team Three here, and this is Team Six. This is gonna be down to the wire with these two here. Everybody's trying though. Team One got the frame here. They got the frame. They getting there. They getting there. Wow, these babies rushing, boy. Jazz Red Talk Show. All right, the grand prize is one hundred dollars. Second is fifty. Third is twenty. Fourth, third, third. Uh, second is. Third is tw 30. Let me get that right. Fourth is uh, fourth place is 20, and fifth place is $10. They rolling. They trying to get that on dog. We got two Nick to Nick here. Peace out. Look like we walking it down right here at Team 6. Team 6 walking the dog on <laughs> Wow. Jazz Red Talk Show look like we might have a winner. They are racing. Wow. 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 Look like they're over here. We got a winner. Keep going. Get second. Get second. Go, go, go. Oh. Oh. Oh, shoot. 
Paulette, I done got me on. We still got other prizes now. Come on. Paulette ain't want nobody to know. Let me get off the camera. All right, first place. Right here. First place, right here, right there. All right, here, these kids, I am whispering, but they are. That second place right there. It was neck and neck, neck and neck. Look at this puzzle, ladies and gentlemen. They got, the babies got that boy. Wow, wow. Well, we didn't want the we didn't want everybody to get excited because we didn't want the others to get discouraged, you know. But they're still working. We still have a uh, third what third, yeah, fourth and fifth third, place. Third, fourth and fifth place, yeah. yeah. Uh, the two second place winners. Wow. All right, we waiting on third. Waiting on third. All right, we looking for third now. We going to go to some tables. This is uh, team one. Team one coming on with it there. Wow. Team five. Team five right here. Team five. Team seven right here. Look like mom in there. Somebody boosting them up there. This is Team 10, Team 10. All right, we got first and second. We're looking for third and fourth place. Wow. Table four dropping pieces all everywhere, but they still trying. They trying, they trying. Okay. Uh, table two, they trying. All these babies are trying. All right, here are the first place winners. The other guy said, we were 59 seconds behind them. Wow, wow. Them girls got that money. They got it, Lord. They got it. <laughs> they have sweet victory. I think this team here, if they can keep their puzzles on the table, they might do a little something. They throwing pieces. This is Team 10, and they are trying very hard. They're trying very hard. All these babies are really, really trying. Team five, number five. All right, we've got team one. Team one here is third place. <laughs> this is third place right here. Team one. They go to. They go to. We're gonna show the proof on it. Look at that. Look at that puzzle put together right there. Wow, wow. These babies really trying. They really trying. Wow. Team one. They are number three. All right. Team 5. Team 5 is coming on with it. Team 10. Team 10. They are switching sides, going from side to side. They are really trying to win. Wow. Team 10 is putting it, they knocking out the box. Team, team 10 is coming on. They coming on. So team 8. Team 8, they coming on with it, though. They are still at it. They still at it, ladies and gentlemen. Paulette, they are always just sponsoring this and giving them a little money. This is a little money. I wanted that $100. Boy, that would have been nice. I just don't do no puzzles. Tazza ain't able to do that. I'd be too busy. But, wow. Look at the... Uh, First place winners right there. They just relax and chill. And they did it. Uh, wouldn't this this puzzle thing was supposed to last two hours? But they did it in no time. We'll get the time on what they did. Oh, this is uh just great. The second place just getting a little chips and uh playing a little cards, enjoying themselves. But now there no card tricks. Two with the eyeglasses on. Wow. Team ten. This is team ten. All right, look like we might have another winner here. We'll come back when we find out. Wow. Well, we've got a winner. Table 10. Team 10. Team 10. Wow. Wow. Team 10. Wow. We've got a winner there. Look at that. <laughs> look, we got some young men in one again. All right. We try to be quiet because she says she don't want nobody to know they winning, but victory. Yeah, and they know how to smile for the camera. They waiting on that money. <laughs> Team five look like they're going to try to walk it down. We'll see when we come back. Oh, they finished. God, they done won. <laughs> they go to DAP, the DAP, they done won. <laughs> 
We count dead, ladies and gentlemen. We've got some winners. We've got some winners. First, second, third, fourth, and fifth place. And we did have first, second, third, fourth, and fifth place. But I want y'all to know that I'm proud of each and every one of you because it's not easy to to do that. Because I tried to put a puzzle together. It took me four hours, okay? So y'all beat me. So, but the thing is, uh, you're all winners. This is just to have fun. So what I want, while me and Miss Williams are going to um, tally up and get y'all prizes ready, I would like the uh, the team that finished get with someone who's not finished, and they will help you finish. That's that's what teamwork is all about. So if team one, they got to get together and get help them finish. They got to help them finish. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, this team here. What the kids are doing now. After the contest, they've got to all get together and help the ones that are not finished. They've got to all get together and help them finish their puzzle so all of them will be finished. Wow. Team four. They're all pulling together. They're helping to get uh, this other table together. And you got some surrounded over here, helping them to finish theirs. That's what teamwork is. Wow. This table here, we got this little brother. I'm going to put him on blast. He's going to just mash it in there. It's going to fit one way or the other. That ain't the way it go, but he's making it fit. Bag in front of you, and uh, we ask that you not go through the bag while we're doing the presentation. This is just a gift from uh, working with the hands and Paulette Horton and the uh, Mobile Public Library. And we want you to know that y'all did an awesome job. Everybody's it winning not, something. It is not easy. Everybody. They turned out and it was pouring down raining, ladies and gentlemen. These kids, all of them are going to get a, a gift bag set in front of them and then they do the presentation with the gifts, with the uh, money. They're uh, okay. applaud for Paulette Harden. Okay, we're going. This is um, Mrs. Williams will present the winners. She's going to present the winners. They're going to come up and get okay. their money. Uh, we're going to start with uh, fifth place. Okay, uh, this is table five. Uh, Armini Muhammad of Lafleur High School and Autumn Belser of James Madison School. Yes. It has fifth place on it. Okay, we're going to go to fourth place. Table 10, the Captain Jonathan Harris of Callaway Smith and his partner Lazarius Harrell, who finished in one hour and 30 minutes and 27 seconds. Y'all stand up. Y'all stand up. Stand up, y'all. Y'all stand up. Tell them to stand up. Okay. 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 Third place is Table 1, Captain Tamara Tarber of Clark Shaw and Tariq Tarber of Biger. Finish, finished in 1 hour, 6 minutes, and 26 seconds. You ready? Okay, now uh, second place, Table 3, Captain... Y'all forgive me if I can't pronounce y'all's name. Uh, Javon, Javani Tate of, uh, oh, George. Javani George of LaFleur High School and the partner of Julius Harris of Murphy High School finished in 54 minutes and one second. Now let's give our winners a round of applause. It goes to table number six, Captain Sophia Williams of Murphy High School and her partner, Hope Kagongo. <laughs> okay, thank you. Y'all stand up. <laughs> they finished in 53 seconds and seven, no, 53 minutes and seven seconds. First place. In July, we will have a. Oh, wait a minute, will we have your attention, please? Yes, 
It will be a family contest. It will consist, right now we think it's going to consist of three people, at least one adult and two children or two adults and one child. And the, uh, the money will be the same. So it will be important that you register because it may not be a walk-in slot left. So look for us this summer for our summer library program and see if you can register for another contest like this. Well, Paulette has done it again. <laughs> She's done it again. Everybody was a winner, though, ladies and gentlemen. They, oh, look at these babies. They all going in their bags now. They checking their money out. They going in their bags. Oh, wow. Now it's time to eat. Jazz and Red, we love you. Jazz and Red Talk Show. We are at the 31st Women Annual Women Convention 2016. Women of faith, women of faith, wow. We're at the Holy Church of God. Y'all get ready. All right, give it a listen.
chairperson, Sister Grace Wills, stepped in and began to work alongside her. Now Sister Wills continues to work diligently with the women of God to pass this vision on to the next generation. Tonight I am happy to say that I am part of the next generation. So women of God, as our founder once stated, let us continue to walk the faith, to walk a faith with God helping us. We will be victorious in everything God sets before us. This is your case. Yeah. So we know how. God, we ask you that you just bless the ones that heal tonight. Bless the ones that desire to heal and don't have. God, we ask that you just stretch this money and let it be done in the will of the Lord. And Lord, when we can't say anything anymore, God, we ask that you say well done and that the offering be well done. And I'll ask you to just pray for me. It is our
given name plus he is Bishop. That's all I'm finding you that Bishop Bishop. But we just thank God for all of our guests, for our visitors, just for everybody being here tonight. We couldn't have done this without you. We like our community it's like nobody came up but me. But I think your name's on that list. Financial committee. This sister just said that last year, the sister that had the money, they broke in her house, the one that got the money last year. Unbelievable. After the convention last year, they broke in this lady house. They collected the money. Somebody did. Pray. Pray. We need prayer. Now, it wasn't this lady house that they broke in, but they broke in somebody's house last year that took the money home. Men, y'all got to step up. Jazz and red people. So grateful. to button jazz red talk show and i'm your host jazz red uh this is a public awareness we've got a couple of families that are in need and uh miss Kara coates is going to speak up this time and tell you all what she need for these families all right on you miss coates Slam. yes uh we have uh, a single mother with a toddler uh she's four years old and uh, the mom and the daughter need clothes. The mom's sizes are size uh, 13 through 14. Uh, the uh, shorts and pants, uh, shirts are size uh, medium to large. And the little girl is a three tot, uh, ten, size 10 shoes. So we are in need of these items for this single mother and her daughter. And uh, we also have a single mother with twins. The twins are 12 years of age, and it's male and female. We are currently trying to uh, raise funds to put them, uh, find them a place to live because they are homeless. And if you can help us, we really, really appreciate it. And uh, we're trying to currently send up uh, some type of funding uh, to come in uh, to help the ones that we help 
uh, that are in need, whether they're homeless or they just, you know, down on their luck. And there's no such thing as that um, we're in a shortage. Because if we can all pull together the resources, money, clothing, then we are, you know, be able to uh, support those that are in need. We are a lot of small organizations that try to pull together to help our communities. So if you can help us, please uh, give us a call. Uh, my number is 251-753-6253. Again, we are trying to ha help two single mothers at this time. Uh, we also have a gentleman, 55 years of age, that uh, he's uh, homeless as well. He need a place to stay. So if you can help us, please give us a call, 251-753-6253. Let me see that. Let me tell you something. Y'all know Jazz has been on six years. And I, I, don't, I, I don't ask for a lot. I've been paying for this show out of my pocket. And I, had, I don't ask for a lot. But y'all need to come on and come up now. You know, I've been doing this show for six years. Now, we got a mother that needs some clothes. And, and her number is stuck on that way you can call. And we got a mom that got two kids that need somewhere to stay. Now, y'all have her. In a hotel now. Yes, yes, we have them in a hotel. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, we were able to raise enough money on yesterday to put this single mom and her children in a hotel for one week. Now, they are still in need of money and uh, as well as food. So if you can help us, please give us a call. Talk to an apartment. Tell them. Yes, uh, well, we... we um, We've been looking around for an apartment, and we did have one. Uh, but as you know, it's first come, first serve. We wasn't able to raise the funds in time uh, to get them into the apartment. But we were able to raise enough to get them into the hotel for one week. So hey, what if somebody got a rental house? Tell if you that. have a rental house, a please give us a call. We, we need the rental house. We need an apartment. You know, whatever you can help us with, we appreciate it to, um, you know, help help us clean up the streets. You know, we, we all fall into hard times and situations do happen and everybody's story is different. But uh, right now we are trying to help two single moms. And uh, we have a gentleman that is homeless on the street. So if you can help us, please, uh, if you have a house or an apartment, please help us. Yeah, Jazz, Jazz not lay something on your, on your heart. Ain't no way you can't help. If you ain't got no money, you got some clothes. If you ain't got no money, you got some clothes. Ain't no way you can't help. If you can't do nothing but say, I'll come and pray for them. You're going to do something because you're watching this show and your heart it's a good heart because this is a good show. We ain't got no fussing, no fighting, no cussing, none of that on this show. And it's been on six years. I'm going to appreciate you all. But I'm going to keep close with McCare and see how many phone calls you get because it's something you can do. And and you never know when you need help. You know, people be saying, well, I got a good job. I'm working. Okay, Jazz Red fell and broke her wrist. Sure, my job took care of me. Work my car. Miss Care come by and brought me something to eat. It was a lot of folks helped me when I was down. Now, y'all have got to come up and help. If you got a rental house, a rental apartment, a duplex, something for where the kids can go. How about this man? This man need a job. Y'all, y'all, if y'all hiring, if you hiring somewhere, you can get them a job. Uh, Miss, Miss Rad it out over there across the bay. You know your name, Miss Rad it out. What her name is? Over across the bay. I can't. Uh, her husband named Kenny. She came here with you, the white lady that was helping you. She's married now, and she got two small babies. Miss Rad it out. We call her Rad it out. Uh, if you know somebody that can get this gentleman a job, we uh, he needs something to do. So Jazz is just asking, and, and that's all we can do is ask. But y'all, the number is right there on that screen. Write it down so you can call Miss Care Coates and help these. You know, we got two families and a gentleman. Men be needing help sometime, too. Y'all know that. And then when he get on his feet, he don't do nothing but help. So that's the way it go. Now give him that phone number again, Miss Care. Uh, you can reach me at 251-753-6253. And uh, this, I mean, we, we have this going on throughout the year. And uh, any help you can be to us, we really appreciate it. Yeah. 
Jazz be real concerned when kids are involved, man. I'm serious. You know, I, I don't like that. And they in school, too, that put a lot of stress on them. So, okay, we going to help. You know, I'm going a, I'm to a challenge my, all my business people. All my business people that look, and especially if you've been on Jazz Red Show, I done had so many people on here in six years. Uh, Jazz is going to give $20. I want my business people to give $20. Yeah, now my last twenty to tomorrow, tomorrow payday, all right. But I, I got, I was dead broke. I said I'm putting this twenty dollar back for this lady and her kids, man, because they need somewhere to stay. Yeah, you know, everybody talking about spring cleaning and painting their house and getting their cleaning products. This lady need a house too clean or apartment too clean. So let's give it up, okay? I call Miss Caracos, wave at her, Miss Caracos. All right, God bless you. Yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm Jane. This young lady hails from Atlanta, Georgia. She is very passionate about her ministry. She speaks out against domestic violence. She loves the Lord. That right there deserves a round of applause. Amen. She's an international recording artist. I just say she's all the way from Atlanta, Georgia. She shared the stage with a lot of your gospel favorites, Deidre Haddon. Um, Marvin Sapp, just to name a few. She's been submitted for Grammy consideration five times. All right. This young lady has a bright career ahead of her, and it is my pleasure and my honor to introduce international recording artist Carlette Martin. All